survivor's auras, but gens, you can't. Enough of my yapping. Kind of formulated what I what I need to do. I honestly I'll, I'll make the guide, but I I explain it pretty quickly. Like the guide will probably be like five minutes. Although I'm pretty sure that's what people prefer for guides, right? They just want to learn the best tips quickly. Yeah, brutal strength is good on Chucky for like a similar reason, right? You break the pallet because you weren't able to break pallets with Chucky before. You could only scamper underneath it. But now that you can break pallets, you can get rid of the pallet. And because of the 20% faster pallet break, you still have maybe enough time to activate your slice and dice and attack. Replace it with Eruption, though. Eruption is really good, but I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. I'm assuming Harry's gonna still be like, nah, Dracula's shit tier, C tier. But I mean, honestly, it's the people like Harry that is the reason Dracula got buffed. The people who were boosted at Dracula. <laughs> Instead of receiving a nerf. The queues are a little bit long today. I mean, they're not bad, they're only like a minute, but. This add-on just lets you kind of play around the windows a bit better. I'm addicted to the Traveler's Hat now, though. You can definitely feel it. I think I'm going to run Sunglasses, though. Sunglasses and Feather is, like, my favorite combo for playing Hellfire. Oh god, my de my my internet's dying, chat. I'm dropping 13,000 frames. Can you still hear me? No, oh, it's the Renato from earlier that I killed, who vaulted into me. Or maybe that was in a... I don't know who it was. Can you guys hear me still? I move my camera a little bit up. The room contact rack is dead to me. Yeah. I personally was fine with a moving hug tech if they gave wolf compensation, but the comp the thing I wanted was something for wolf. I wanted them to give something to the wolf. And then I wanted shapeshift cooldown to be reduced. Cause I already said I have said they could just remove it entirely because it suffers the same thing that Old Knight did, where you have all of the guards on your own separate cooldowns, like Hellfire has its own cooldown, Wolf Lunge, Teleport from the bat form. They all have their own cooldowns, and having another cooldown between them just seems, like, unnecessary and clunky, right? Like, that, that was the clunky part of Dracula. So, not removing it entirely, but reducing it to half feels really good. So I think it being at 2.5 is honestly the sweet spot. It's perfect. I was asking someone the other day, like, if you think Wesker needs is only A tier because of the hug tech. And 90% of the people I asked said that hug tech is just, like, completely niche. There you go. That's, that's it right in play in an actual match. You know? Oh. 
There you go. Is isn't that strong? <laughs> Countering Shack Pallet with bad form. People don't understand the full. I don't. I've watched. I watched the guy that P100 Dracula play him, and he doesn't even do the stuff that I'm talking about. Like I, I think, I think I have pioneered something that is pretty, pretty strong. That people have been underestimating. Oh, it's a Jake. Close the gap. Ah. Oh. Nah, that's the bug. It won't let me switch. That will be frustrating if they don't fix that. It, like, makes you charge. Body block. Yeah. See, that was a read there. I knew he wasn't going to vault the window. Probably because the Kate told him not to. Because she said it was going to happen. Yeah, they basically gave two and a half stacks of the food base kit to that farm when I was doing the map. What the fuck is this? Oh, I will take a free devour stall. Don't mind me. When they have three crows, it's too late for them. At Shack Pallet, I mean, if she's sitting, if you're crouching inside a Shack Pallet, there's nothing I can do there, you know? Because I have to choose a side, otherwise I'm just going to get stunned shape-shifting, and she's not going to throw the pallet until I do shape-shift. <gasps> she's cheating, chat! She's cheating! She dodged too wide, though, so I'll get the hit anyways. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, I... I left-clicked earlier than that, but it didn't, like, go out for some reason. The one area where Hellfire, or where Wolfformer is good is big open areas. Because they're not going for that totem. They both got unhooked over there. Don't want to go near a hook. He, he predicted it. Yeah, yeah. See, this is where this is where people with good movement make it hard. But I like I don't suffer anything. All of his outplays mean nothing. They mean nothing because the cooldown is so short. Like him as spirit, him baiting me out like that. Like you'd have to suffer your power recharging, right? But Dracula. You just, you have 2.5 seconds, you're back into phasing. <laughs> hmm, kind of do a flick. Oh, she's dead, though. Oh, that, that was a good dead eye, I'll give her that. She didn't panic use it. Did that go over? Oh, that was ruin.
Hello, Fang, that hasn't been hooked yet. No, oh, you have been hooked, but I'm still skipping two hook states. I don't know why they, they thought hopping in a locker would prevent it. It's not tombstone. Way more work than tombstone. See if I can teleport over there. These were actually good survivors, too, and they're struggling. The good survivors make it hard to use bat form, though. I cooked her there. She actually got cooked. <laughs> I predict her, her dodge. Destiny calls. I don't even remember which ones my divine are. Oh, they brought a map offering too. These guys were, these guys were trying to sweat. We got the good old comp gamer squad over here. Full P100. Bring a map offering too. I don't think I faced four P100s yet against Drac. That could be a good video. They have four unbreakables, goddamn. Feels bad to be a twins player. <laughs> 